Today I'm going to do a short tutorial on Keynote so that you can learn some of the basics. The first thing that you all need to do is you need to open up Keynote until you get to the screen that I'm on. We are going to go to this plus sign right here to start out with and we are going to press plus. This is going to give you a variety of different themes that you can choose from. Today it really doesn't matter which theme you use because we won't be seeing any of it anyway. We are going to fill the full screen with our photo. Now most of the time I like you to use the widescreen because this works best for movies and presentations. But for today we're going to use the standard screen because our end result is that our project is going to go on Pinterest and it's going to go on our kid blogs. So you can go ahead and pick any of these. I'm just going to pick the white one for today, but you pick one that you like. All right. The next thing that I need you to do is go up to see where mine says presentation number two right up here on the screen. And I'd like you to change the name of your project. And in this case, I'm just going to call mine my project. It's best that you pick something that you can recognize so that when you're going through later, you can easily find your projects. The next thing that I'd like to go over is there's a paintbrush and there's a plus sign. A paintbrush and a plus sign. What I tell kids to remember is that if you're going to add something to your presentation, you click on the plus. If you want to make what you've already added pretty, you click on the paintbrush. So to start out with, we are going to hit the plus sign and you're going to see that you can make a um, chart, you can make a graph, you can add shapes, and you can even add pictures. And that's all up here along this top bar, right up here. I'd like you to go ahead and select a photo. So I'm just going through the field trip photos that we took and here's a nice photo. Now, as you can see, my photo does not fill up my entire keynote. So I'm going to click on it once and these little blue dots pop up and I'm just going to drag the blue dots until it is completely covering, okay? So now I am completely full screen with my photo. I don't want to see anything along the sides here. Uh, it should all be your photo, okay? The next step, I'd like to add a shape because we are going to add some text to our photo. So let's go up here to this plus sign right up here because remember, we're adding something and we're going to add a plus and this time I'm going to go to the shape button. The shape button is right there. I'm going to select a square. Okay, And so this is the shape that I am going to use. And I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger right there. All right. Now, you are perfectly capable of going up to the top and adding a second shape if you want. But sometimes when you do more advanced projects, you will create something and it's the perfect size for what you're doing. And you will want to copy it. So I'm going to show you how you copy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the box that I just created, and if you wait a moment, this um, menu will show up, and I'm going to press copy. So now I've copied the box. Now the interesting thing is, is that it's, I have been unable to put, to copy something on top of the photo, but if I sneak my photo over just a little bit so that I get to this white area again, and I put my finger down, what will happen is I will get the option to paste. And so now I have two boxes that are exactly the same size. And I'm going to go ahead and put my picture back. So now I have two boxes. I have two boxes and I have my picture. What I'd like you to do now is make your boxes prettier. In order to make your boxes prettier, remember we're going to go to the paintbrush. So I've clicked on a box and I'm now going up to the paintbrush and I'm going to start over here with style. Do you see how we can do style, text, and arrange? I'd like us to pick a different color. So I'm going to go with um, purple. All right. So I went with purple for this box and I'm going to do the same thing with this box except I'm going to make this one green. 
If you go down to where it says style options here, style options, you are going to see that you get lots of other options that are pretty cool. I'm going to start with the fill and I, I already did pick my colors that this is another way that you could add your colors. But now I'm going over to border, fill, border and effects. I'd like a little border on that green. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to make the color of my border. Um, maybe I will add a red that might add a nice pop. Now right now I can't really see the border. So I'm going to make it a lot wider. Okay. And I think maybe a dotted line. Well, I don't know if I like that one. I think I'll go with this one. All right. I'm going to do the same one or the same thing with this box. I'm going to style options. I'm going to add a border. And just for fun, I'm going to try something new here. I might go with a green border and make it a little bit larger. All right. So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to effects. And I would like mine to have a little shadow on it and maybe a reflection. Okay. So all of these items are now. So now we have two of these. Now I'd like to take and show you a little bit more advanced stuff that you might find in the future is beneficial. Take one of your boxes and put it over the other box. Just cover it up a little bit. Go up to the paintbrush again, and this time when you click on it, you're going to see that it says arrange. Right here is a move to the back front. I'd like you to go back and forth on that and kind of see how you can go from one to the other. Now, in this case, I think that I would like to keep it like this with the one with the pink dots in the front, but if I changed my mind, I could easily switch that back and forth. So I'm good with that. All right, so now I am actually going to make this one, the purple one, a little bit larger because I'm going to put them on top of, oops, I'm going to put them on top of each other. And I think that'll look kind of cool. You have to sometimes play around with this to get it exactly like you want it. All right, so that's how mine's going to look here. The next thing that I'd like us to be able to do is to put some text in here. Now, if you had written a poem or you had some text that was already written in a pages document, you could certainly copy and paste it in here. But in this case, I am just going to type in field trip because this was a photo taken on our field trip. All right. When I look at this text, I'm not really happy with it because it doesn't pop out. It doesn't, I can't really see it that well. So I'm going to click on the text and then I'm going to go back up to the paintbrush. And this time you can see that you can change the style. So if you wanted to change the style, you, you know, change the background again. I actually like the, I think I like the green when I do that. You can make your text larger. So if you go to the 24 point and I think I'm going to make mine Let's go with 42. I'd like to change the color. Uh, I think a yellow might be kind of nice. And also the font. Let's make the font something different. So now I've changed all of that. Um, I can make it go off to one side. I can put it in the middle. You know, I can arrange that. I can also move my text around front to back right here, just like I had done with the boxes. And so here we go. The, what I recommend people do is that they just play around with it. See what happens when you click the different buttons. You can't ruin anything. It's all can be put back exactly like it, is, like it was. And in fact, I don't like what I just did here. So I'm going to hit this undo button right here. And I'm going to undo it until I get it back to how I liked it. So there we go. All right. So I've taught you how to add the picture. We have added... Um, shapes, we've added some text, we've added a lot of really fun features that can really make your project look extraordinary, not like everybody else's. And so say we are now done. So now I have my project like I wanted, 
and I am going to click on the little play button and now it is time for me to take a screenshot of my project. And so by taking a screenshot, I have now saved my project to the photo roll. And at this point, you are able to go ahead and publish, whether it be on KidBlog or on Pinterest, or maybe you're putting yours into an iMovie, whatever end project you're going to be doing, this is how you go ahead and get it into your photo roll so you can move it on to the next step.